Hi there and welcome back to Shadowrun Returns the Dead Man's Switch. I'm Byron and Caprice is in the home of James Telestrian III and she's apparently preparing for the final run. So let's talk to Hans Brackhaus. We did not allow many opportunities we did not allow many opportunities during our briefing for you to ask questions, Shadowrunner. You may ask them now. How did the insect spirits get here? When the membrane between planes thins, the insect spirits reach into the mind of a shaman and begin their manipulation, playing on weaknesses and offering unlimited power if the rituals needed to bring the spirits here are performed. But once a shaman takes on an insect, spirit as a totem, they begin an inevitable decline into insanity, slowly losing their humanity. Eventually, the shaman completely succumbs, choosing the contentment and sense of clear purpose that being part of a hive provides. Perform your role, serve your queen, that is all. If Lofia had seen this before and knew another was coming, why didn't he move faster? Based upon the Pre previous cycles of magic, the first insects are not due to appear for another 700 years. My lord Lofio believed he was well ahead of schedule. Something is different this time. It is concerning. Why do you think it's different this time? Perhaps it's due to the population of humans and metahumans on Earth being so much higher than in previous ages. As a result, the volume of magic created by sentient beings is correspondingly higher. Or perhaps it's the density of the population coupled with the advances of society and technology that has altered things. Magic has never returned to a world like this one before. The density of sentient creatures coupled with the density of information coupled with the new concept, the technological persistence of memory heightens a society's existential angst. Thus, more people realize how truly horrible existence is simultaneously. That in itself may be a form of magic. Lofi is studying the question now. What's it like to serve a great dragon? The German man's eyes narrow. Do not misconstrue my relationship with Lord Lofi. I do not serve. Where do the insect spirits come from? As the level of magic in the sixth world grows, the, for lack of a better world, the distance between the various planes of reality decreases. When the membrane between the planes is thin enough, ritual magic may be used to draw beings from one to another. Okay. What do you have to say, Algernon? May I provide spells, spirit foci or fetishes to help you on this crucial quest? I have a question first. Speak it. Were you spying on me at the Seamstress's Union? His eyes widened at the question. You mistake your importance, Caprice. No, I was not spying on you. Until Mr. Delestrian's summons, you were beneath my notice. I saw only a customer. Now, do you require my magic? Are you really here? <laughs> Algernon's face takes on a dreamy expression. Are any of us? Yes, Caprice, I am here. And at the Seamstress's Union. And a myriad of other places. On to the work at hand. Yeah, well, who are you? I'm a peddler of magical spirits, spells, and foci. Nothing more. Nothing else? No. Okay, what do you have? <sighs> Nothing new, apparently. Hmm. Well, then. we go. What else do we have here? James Telestri the third? Is there something I can clarify for you? Tell me more about Project Ages. Telestian Industries Corporation has been working on Project Ages for two years without fully understanding its use. Lofi did not trust me with the information. My engineers finally met the dragon specification three months ago and had just begun the production process when my cousin Lin hired Shadowrunners to destroy the lab at the factory, leaving us only the sample you stole. Why was Marie Louise taken by the Universal Brotherhood? He paused before answering. 
The host for the queen is chosen very carefully as the interactions between the, between the queen and her lead shaman are critical. A family connection between the two roles is ideal. As you have discovered my father's indiscretion with Melinda Watts, you know that Jessica Watts, the shaman, and Marie Louise are related by blood. I would appreciate if that information remained in the shadows. How do I use Aegis? My people have weaponized the Project Aegis formula by creating shells which when fired propel a high velocity cloud of the material which should be effective at killing exposed insect spirits. There are more effective ways to deliver Aegis, obviously, but time was of the essence and I needed to improvise. Okay, I should go. So, well, what else do we have? Hey, there's Marie Louise. I was listening. It sounds bad. Yep. Thank you for everything. Could be worse. Could be raining. <laughs> she smiles. It's Seattle. You look like you have a question. Why were you locked up at Universal Brotherhood? Father didn't approve of my boyfriend and tried to scare him off. Something went wrong and Hakim ended up in a wheelchair. Father covered the whole thing up and lied to me about Hakim. He told me horrible things and I believed him. My Aunt Lynn told me the truth about Hakim and how my father lied. She preyed upon my anger. I was so disgusted with him. It was easier to get me to leave and join a new family at the Universal Brotherhood. What did Lynn Telestrian and the Universal Brotherhood want with you? Aunt Lynn was very excited to have me there. Almost maniac. Manic. She talked about the inner circle and how I was going to be at its center. She said I would be their queen. The way she spoke, it was as if she'd seen God or something. Her eyes closed and she hugs herself tightly. But it's not God she sees, it's bugs. Only bugs. Was it Hakim who helped you in the Matrix? She smiles and laughs. Yes. Even after my father ruined his life and convinced me to hate him, he's still been watching over me. My angel in cyberspace, Baron Samedi. After we escaped, I told Hakim about the brother and about Bugs. It was his idea to steal Project Aegis, Aegis so you could go back into the Universal Brotherhood and exterminate the Bugs. But I don't know how he knew about it. Baron Samedi just knows things. So what did Hakim tell you about us breaking into your father's office? Nothing. I haven't spoken to him since last night. Why? What happened? <clears throat> it went as planned until your father's people found me and brought me in. Of course it went as planned. Hakim is amazing in the Matrix. I'm sure you'll hear from him soon. I should go. Or maybe he's working with your father and you don't know it. So here we have Mr. Quoth. Okay. <coughs> so I guess it's time to uh, get some runners. In addition to the Aegis loaded launches we will provide, I'm authorized to outfit you with anything from weapons to supplies to clothing. Show me the gear. <sighs> well, can't use a weapon. Here's nice stuff. Twenty two thousand. So, um, I don't need you. I say we buy, um, one more dog vacuum platinum trauma kit and a few more premium med kits. Oh, we're good. Wait, I have three. Yeah, well, why not? <laughs> why did I have three? I thought I had only one. Apparently, I had already two. Fine, whatever. Show me the outfits. Nothing new here. I mean, I could give a go with high grade street armor when it says battle armor but I like the plus one spell casting and plus one willpower. That's cool. 
Um, uh, no cyberware for Caprice. Okay, I guess it's time to go to Harlequin and um, get some runners. I thought you get the runners from the butler, apparently you don't. Are you ready to get knee deep in ectoplasm? I have a few questions first. Of course you do. So, who are you? I am he, as you are he, as you are me, and we all are together. Excuse me? As we are all together. He seems disappointed he didn't get a joke. You are excused. What, your god or what? He bows with a flourish. I am Harlequin, the light bearer, last knight of the crying spire. He here manipulates Shadowrunners and fights duels with assholes. And for the next hour or two, I am at your service. How do we kill an insect spirit again? Ah, the fun gory stuff. Step 1. Damage the bug by using conventional weapons and magic until the spirit is released from the host body. Step 2. Shoot the inject inspects shoot the insect spirit with the Project Aegis launcher that Terrestrians people created. Step 3. Keep shooting until either the spirit is destroyed or you are bug food. Rinse, repeat. What is the connection between the bugs and Universal Brotherhood? Harlequin's eyes glitter at the question. Oh, this one is genius. Genius! Talk about hiding in plain sight. This cycle, the bugs didn't use some whacked out shaman in a small rural village as their portal. They are thinking big. They set up shop in every major city, created major marketing a major marketing campaign and then began aggressively recruiting the dropouts, the disaffected and the deranged, just like any good cult. If Aegis fails, if we fail, the world will be absolutely overrun by bugs. It's brilliant. Does Hans Brackhaus really work for a great dragon? He winks. No. Okay. Um, so I get a gun. I suppose you should know the rest here and technicians had only had time to create a few prototype Aegis launchers. I'll be taking one naturally, and others for you. Treat her well. If you want additional bug splattering firepower, James has agreed to allow one of his personal lead guard to accompany us with the final prototype weapon. And now, let us away. We have a date with Destiny and she doesn't like to be kept waiting. I still need to... Okay, so apparently I have... an Aegis Mark I launcher. It's a gun. What kind of type? I don't know. And we have Holokin, who also has an Aegis Mark I launcher. That's cool. And some nice spells. Quick strike, a mana ball, a mana bolt, some healing, and aim plus two. What are your skills? Apparently it's a shotgun because he's good with shotguns. Um... Do you have... you have no sub around? Okay, we have Coyote. Oh, Tier Tangar Ghost. He also has one of those. Maybe we should take him then. He's good with a rifle and a shotgun. Okay, I guess this qualifies the Aegis launcher as being a shotgun. So we take you, eh? Because, well, you have a gun. Uh, that kills bugs that qualifies you. So we actually we have enough muscle now, we don't need Coyote. And I assume it does 15 damage. You can use that on regular bugs too, uh, I mean on the, the meat bugs as well. We shall see. Here. He still has his cold if uh, it wouldn't work. So I'm sorry Coyote, you're out. Do we need a decker? Probably not. We're going against the shaman and bugs. Decking probably is not an option or not required. I 
I'm kind of thinking about the support mage we had the last time. He was good. Yeah, I want him. And we go. Uh, we should uh, spread around our equipment a bit. Head to the hive beneath the Universal Brotherhood? Yes, we do. I have things in my stash that I want to... Can't I just, you know... That's weird. Normally I can um, move my stuff around. The hunt begins. You return to the Universal Brotherhood. Your return to the Universal Brotherhood is anything but subtle. The team hits the same back door you already found and you storm through, quickly making your way into the restricted area and the room where you last met Jessica and first encountered the bug. You stand there together, listening to the sounds of chittering coming from the, fr some from the somewhere distant. Harlequin stares into the darkness, humming tunelessly while fingering the sword on his hip. Then he turns, lifts his Aegis launcher to his lips and gives it a kiss. You give the signal and the hunt begins. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. So we put you in here and you in here. Put all the stuff in here. And get things organized. So you get one. You get one. If you equip this item, you will no longer meet what? The pre prerequisites of the falling items which will be unequipped. Quick strike. Cancel. Excuse me, I cannot give you this? Fuck you. Your inventory clearly is full. You can have one, right? Yeah. W what's that? I guess that's a bug. Because when I give you an item, it doesn't fuck with your spells. It shouldn't. Ah hate you. This is when I tell you that the game is not really well put together. Fine, you take everything then, because you are awesome like that. No, actually not. You can have a few of the healing things too. Very well. I guess we're good. So uh, I should probably increase gun skills a bit so that I can use this baby. You have unspent karma points. Yeah, I want to spend it. Thank you. 36, that's quite a lot. So uh, ranged combat. 3. Oh, I have to re-raise quickness first, then ranged combat, then shotgun. Okay. Very nice. That side you found last time you were here was helpful. We avoided all those Universal Brotherhood spark cult yahoos. Telestin was right. You're a real value add. Hardigan grins a white right predatory grin. Both sides of his pearly white teeth are set by the livid red lipstick around his mouth. Wait, I have some questions. Do I? Of course you do. If you won't tell me who you are, will you at least tell me what you can do? See this sword? Yeah, it looks unusual. Can you tell me more about it? I can stick people with it. Pretty good too. I also have one of those telestrophium magical bug eradi eradicating launchers like the rest of you. That it? <laughs> Is that not enough? Beyond the tattoos that adorn my face, I have another a recent ed edition in a place that only those closest to me will ever see. <laughs> it's a dragon, don't tell Hans. Oh, and I'm a powerful mage as well, I forgot that. Uh, how do we kill insect spirits again? Need a little reminder? Yeah. 
Now here's the tricky part. If we don't destroy the spirit fast enough, the spirit will re-enter the host, reanimate it and rejuvenate it back to full health. It's called the three R's of buggery. <laughs> you mentioned, didn't mention that before. I didn't want to scare you. Mm, what can we expect to find down here? You know as much as I do on that account, you have actually seen one of those and what anatomical syn synergetic trends we wow, via tickle dwellers in darkness. I have not. However, based on your recent reconnaissance, I would accept, expect to find deranged cultists, deranged priests, a deranged shaman and a shit ton of giant bugs. I'm ready. I guess I am. So, stop the ceremony. Uh, stop the cavalry. So first of all, haste. Then aim. Let's end the turn. Some more aim. Oh. That kinda sucks, but can't be helped. Then armor up. And open the bloody door. Caprice moves in and takes a look. Takes a look, see. Oh, what do we have here? A Brotherhood guy. More Brotherhood guys, actually. Oh, Brotherhood mage. We can't have that, can we? No. You get confused. Exactly. Harlequin, my friend, could take cover here. Uh, can you start firing? Wouldn't actually do something on him. Immune. No, that's a waste, actually. Fine. Wait, don't you have spells or something? Mana bolt, yeah, why not? So we have you. Oh, you need two. Fine. Oh, wait, there's another one. I didn't see him. Oh, 41% is not really good. Well, that's enough. Oh, fucker. Which is not going to like that. Oh, the match sucks. You should have done with that before you cast it. Oh, well, it's true. You move in. You actually heal the priest. So, um, you could increase the aim of that guy here. First of all, you reload that thing. Okay. You have this nice sword, what can it do? Uh-huh, plus one HP damage over time. Damage 10, damage 7. Let's try one. It's not too bad. Um, you should try and shoot at him. Come on, 71%. Thank you. Well, now you can grill the other guy. Ooh, that looks like it hurt a lot. Uh, 
and you're done. Where do we go from here? I wonder. There's a locked door. There's an open one. Move over here, Caprice. You should probably... Can I open this? What's this? You have to go in here? What's in there? Apparently that's the way out. Okay. Harlequin, follow. Oh yeah, I remember. This is the way the bugs enter the level. Come on, you ghost of yesterday. And Caprice is the last one standing. Moving on. Okay. So, I say we call it the video and continue the next one. What would you say? Yeah, I think that's a plan. So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.